the Monkey Mischief classroom. Um, a fine motor um, activity uh, that I wanted to talk about cutting. Um, what I wanted to share with you is a helpful tip. Some students, when they see just any black line, they start cutting. So a good way to provide the student with boundaries for cutting in a visual would be to highlight the areas in which they have to cut. Um, and letting them know you're only cutting the green. Um, this is a good way because sometimes when like, let's say if this, this shape had eyes or, uh, or had a, you know, a square inside and you just wanted them to cut the circle, as soon as they see black lines, they'd go for the black lines too. Um, so a good way to keep them from just cutting what you want them to cut um, is providing that highlighted visual. I would use a pink highlighter, uh, green if it's dark, orange. I wouldn't use yellow as much. Um, you can if the, if the student um, doesn't have color uh, blind issues or uh, is, um, knows their colors. Um, uh, but if if they don't and they struggle with the colors, I would use something bright and let them know this is when you see this color you cut. If you don't see this color, you don't cut. Um, that's the best way to um, say it so that they don't end up cutting anything else. Um, but this really helps the kids. And then what I like to do is often like we cut the whole thing and put it aside. Then we rotate and cut. That way it helps with their wrists and helps them learn how to rotate their wrist um, and work the paper more easily. That's helpful.